G'day everyone, a bit of a different kind of video for today. I saw recently on the internet, somebody take some beans, take something sharp, engrave a design, and then grow the beans so that the design was still on the beans once it had grown. And I'm curious, is this something which actually works? And does it affect the long-term growth of the bean? So today, we're going to be testing it out. I'm going to carve some seeds and we're going to see what happens when they grow. To conduct an experiment, we need to ask a question. My question for today is, if you carve a design in a seed, will you be able to see the design in their first leaves? Now we need to design an experiment. I'm going to have three groups growing. They'll be the same variety, a banjo bean. They'll all be started in the same container and they'll be started at the same time. Everything is the same, except for that some of the beans will have carvings. I'll have one control group and two experimental groups. My control will be just a regular bean, not carved. My first experiment group will have a design on one side of the bean, and the second experiment group will have a design carved into both sides of the bean. We will be able to see if A, the design remains, and B, if there's a difference in the growth caused by the carving later on in the bean's life. We'll also need to make a prediction or a hypothesis. My hypothesis is that after carving a design on a seed, you will see the design in the first leaves. Now that that's out of the way, let's carve some beans. I'm not really sure what I'm doing here. I've got some beans. I've got something sharp, which is a sewing pin and we're going to carve some designs in here. So I'm going to set this one aside. This is my control bean, which is just a regular bean. Nothing has changed. And now I'm going to have two experiment groups. The first one, I'm going to have one design. The second one, I'm going to have a design on both sides. And we're just going to see what happens. So I need to carve a design. Now I am not uh, very good with very fine tasks. I've got a bit shaky hands, so we're just gonna see how this goes. I'm going to take my pin. I'm not really sure how deep to go either. I'm just gonna take it in and I'll draw a smiley face. Actually surprisingly tricky to like draw a line in a bean. Who would have thought it? Okay, so he's got two eyes there now. Well, there's a happy little bean. There's our first one. <laughs> And now let's try our, our second one. There's one side, we've got another smiley face and we'll try, we'll try another design. I've seen lots of hearts on these, so we'll try a heart just to see what kind of shape it comes out as. And there's my, uh, my shonky love heart. So I've got some carved beans now. And now in theory, I just place these in soil and they'll grow to have leaves which have these designs on them. I've got three beans now, one control which has no carvings, one which has one carving, and another one which has got two carvings. So I've got my one control, my two experiment groups. Now I need to prepare the growing container, which is here, but I need to put some holes in it. We are ready to go. I've got my time lapse set up. I've got a desk lamp to make sure that the time lapse has always got a source of light because you can't see anything if it's dark. I've got my bean growing container. I've got a saucer so that it doesn't drip water. And I've got my beans. Let's plant them and get started. So the control bean is in and I will put the first experiment group in the middle. And then we'll take our second experiment group. As you can see, we've got our smiley face and we've got our shoddy looking heart there. And we'll put them over there. The beans have been engraved, the beans have been planted. Now all the beans have to do is grow. I'm going to run the time lapse now. I'm taking a capture every four minutes for the next however long it takes for the beans to grow. I'm going to imagine it's about a month and uh, we'll see what happens. 
rolling. since the carved beans have been growing and we can see what's happened. And as you can see here, well, there's no design in the control, but with both of the experimental beans, both the one that has one design and the one that has two designs, yes, the designs, those smiley faces and heart can be seen on the leaves. Now, why? To understand just why this has worked, let's talk about cotyledons. Regular viewers of this channel might be familiar with cotyledons in an avocado seed. These are the two big creamy bits and are the food stores for a young tree. But beans are different. Some plants keep their one or two cotyledons below the soil as a source of energy for a young plant. These plants are described as hypogeal. Some plants send their cotyledons up above the soil where they are the first baby leaves. These plants are described as epigeal. On this bean time lapse, you can see the cotyledons popping out. Beans are epigeal. Whereas with this avocado seed, the cotyledons are very much stationary. It's hypogeal. Inside a bean, the first baby leaves are already there, developed and ready to go. So carving a design in them, providing it doesn't damage the leaf too much, meant that it was going to stay in there. Leaves don't heal themselves. Once a leaf is damaged, it will stay that way. So by carving a design in these beans, it caused some damage to the baby leaves, which will remain. But it just applies to the first baby leaves. When the more mature, true leaves come in, they are fresh and without a carved design. These don't grow and develop until after the cotyledons emerge. The cotyledons don't hang around on the bean forever either. Shortly after the first true leaves grow, the cotyledons shrivel up and drop away. So as I predicted, because the cotyledons or the baby leaves, the first leaves, are already in the bean, they were carved. Now we're going to find out if that affects the growth of the plant long term. So we're going to keep them going. I am going to move them outside and I'll stop the time lapse so that they can grow. They've already developed a bit of a lean towards the lamp because there's not a lot of light in here. So we will be moving them outside and we'll check in in a couple of weeks time to see where these beans are up to. It has been a couple of weeks now and well, they're not doing very well. Why? They have been attacked by slugs and snails, which is very unfortunate, but uh, we've had a lot of rain and that's just really encouraged the slugs and snails to come out. So they have enjoyed eating our very young beans. The, the best bean at the moment is actually experiment group two, which is the one that had carvings on both sides. It's the one that currently has leaves. But what we can see here is that it appears that there are no long-term effects of carving designs into beans, although, they're not doing especially well, but that's because of the slugs and snails. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope that you have enjoyed it. I really enjoy conducting experiments every so often. It takes a little while to do, so I don't do them every week, but they are a bit of fun. If you'd like to see more content like this or an avocado content, which is what I primarily do on this channel, please consider subscribing to Stop Bros and Avocado Tree. I really had a blast making this video and I'd love to know your thoughts in the comments below. I'm also available on Instagram at Scott Grows and Avocado Tree. Thank you once again for watching. Take care and we'll see you next time. Scott grows an avocado tree. Scott grows an avocado tree. Scott grows an avocado tree. Scott grows an avocado tree.